Uh, hey guys, Fabi here. Um, before I start my video, I want to just take a make a tribute to uh, the people who lost their lives over over the week weekend in France. Um, may may uh, may they rest in peace. You know, it's sad that these people, I think, you know, can't even go out in public anymore. And this, and like, even like without like such a terrible thing happen. I mean, I'm I'm sorry. I think that this had to happen. Uh, I don't think it's right. And I'm really, I really just don't know how, how like a bunch of people could just bomb and, and murder anybody. I mean, you know, it's like, France is supposed to be a city of love, and like, that this happens, I mean, I, today I pray for the victims, I pray for, uh, the innocent people, excuse me, who are, who are fortunate enough to get away. I, I pray for the families and the friends of them. Um, and if there are any donations, and I hope there are, I hope you guys will, will donate. So, to them. So, thank you guys. Um, you guys have a good one. Hey guys, Fozzy here, and welcome to another edition of Fozzy at Home. Now, just because by the title I'm giving a movie a look back at it doesn't mean it's, I think it is any good. The movie is very much crap. I'm just, but, I'm just saying, I gotta give, I, I came across it and I, I just gotta say, you know, it was, it was worth, I think, going to revisit it, if nothing else, so I could say how bad it is. Now, now, though, though, as bad as it is, and believe me, it is bad, I, I just thought that it had some potential that I'm going to review. Now, again, this doesn't mean it's good, and it doesn't mean that, like, the, I think the people tried, and I'm not even saying reviewing this because I like Steve Carell and Jim Carrey. I'm just saying, like, that... I, it, it's amazing it made it, so I'm gonna say it. So, so this um, so this movie came back some years ago called The Incredible Board One Stone. Now, I would actually say as bad a movie as it is, the first 40 minutes of it were pretty good, and all the magic acts in it were good too. It's interesting the way that like. Board and gets introduced to magic as well as the way that um the way that him and Antoine get together. I do like that. And these guys become like these six feet and warrior mu like musicians. Magicians rather, sorry. And like only they're supposed to be straight and American, but like but like and like it, it, there's something really good. The magic in it is really good and too. And I really gotta in, admit that there is a lot even the way that they're introduced to rival musician Steve Gray is really good. Well, he does this, this gross trick that is kind of hard to watch. I will admit that, like the trick, it, that like the trick was creative, and how they did it was good, was great. Well, unfortunately, the whole movie doesn't stay like that. After that, it becomes stupid. It becomes stupid in the same way that, like, movie 42 was. In fact, it was sold on when it stole some of its lines from it. I mean, the, now, like, what is, who would have thought a line about holding your pee in and, and a, for three days and eating a lot of candy hole and getting beat, become a pee, hu, a human piñata funny? This just doesn't work. But I think the movie really falls apart once San Juan and Board break up. However, there is a kind of a... However, as bad as this movie is, does have a small saving grace. If 
grave. I could see watching it still like if you really like magic, because some of the tricks in here are good. And there's this even one trick they, that these guys tell you how to do it, and it's really inspirational. So, regardless, we don't see this movie, it's so stupid, and Steve Carell, I think, Steve, could have tried, but it's just good to do it. So, thank you guys, you have...